we're all gathered here today to witness the joining of matrimony of Jordan Patrick Onza. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and Megan has got Yeah. Today is a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and of two people who after eight years are definitely in it for Never for one moment expected to be delivering the father of the bride speech before turning 40. But nonetheless, I couldn't be more honoured or privileged to be afforded this role on Jordan and Meghan's special day. Not least because I get to stand in for such a great man, who I think would all give the earth just to have him stood here speaking with you now. And he'd wanted Meghan to know just how beautiful she looks in her dress today. And just as I was, he'd have been immensely proud as he walked down the aisle and passed her hand to Jordan's. Today you will exchange vows which will unite you in matrimony. The words are a formal and a public pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong commitment to each other. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Jordan. To witness that I, Jordan. Do take thee, Megan. Do take thee, Megan. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Megan. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Megan. To witness that I, Megan. Do take thee, Jordan. To take thee, Jordan. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. It is my absolute privilege <laughs> and very, very great pleasure to be the first to congratulate you both and tell you that you are now the legal husband of one.
the Bronx and Girls, please put your hands together with a massive round of applause. I'd like to take this opportunity as definitely the first and probably the last time I will get to speak on Megan's behalf. <laughs> Having been part of Megan's life now for over 20 years, I can perhaps impart some advice on how to get by with her. <laughs> now, I think it's fair to say Megan operates at a certain volume. And, um... For anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Stephen, best man to Jordan, and it really is nice to meet me. Sorry guys, but I've got to get something off my chest that's been troubling me all day. Oh my god! Oh, I swear. There you go. <laughs> I have many stories about Jordan but alarmingly very few are fitting for a family setting. Here we are, your day has arrived. Is that an age crumble? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, I'll get yeah. okay. And we are so honoured to stand by your side. Today you have married the love of your life, and you'll be ending the day as Jordan's wife. <gasps> we want you to know we've loved every part, and we cannot wait for the next chapter to start. <laughs> We've been together through thick and thin and will continue to be through every loss and win. Today there's nothing we'd rather have done than watch you walk down the aisle and become Mrs. Barnes. <laughs> we fill up our days with fun and with laughter, but here's to yours and Jordan's happily ever after. Eight years ago in Scrooge's when we first laid eyes on each other, I couldn't have imagined that I'd be here today having just married my best friend and the mother of my two beautiful children. We're incredibly proud of you both, not only today, but throughout your journey so far. I'm glad you found each other. I wish you every success in life, and I can't wait to see and be a part of what the future holds for you. I would like us all to raise a glass to my Megs, Meglet, Megatron, and the now Mrs. Bonza. Yeah.